from the Mercy One Studio. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now is also underwritten by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Welcome to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio. I'm Julie Nelson, joined by Chris Magruder. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. How are you? Good. Yeah. I'm doing good. You know what? Let's just start with prayer right away let's because do. sometimes we get talking and yeah. Yes. Let, let's put him first, right? Yes. Okay. In the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, we have a true woman show today. (laughs) But men, you can listen. Yeah, so you can try to understand women, what we're going through. We have Melanie Rigney on and uh, joining us in a little bit, and she's going to be talking about her new book, Menopause Moments. It's a journal, and um, she's got some delightful, interesting, humorous, practical uh, tidbits in this uh, book, and I think uh, you women will enjoy it. I mean, mm-hmm. I was talking to John this morning, and he goes, this is like your target audience. And I said, yeah, I think it is. <laughs> it is. Well, yes, except that those men out there are going, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But menopause, they can, they can be part of it anyway and learn what we're going through, right? That's right. And that's yeah. right. And she does a beautiful job, and I can't wait to talk to her um, about it. She's just, she has, she's fun. She's just mm-hmm. some, like somebody I want to go hang out with mm-hmm. <laughs> and have a cup of coffee and, and laugh and talk about life. Yeah. Talk about life. So, yeah. So, we've got the, uh, we're going to do a couple of announcements tomorrow is the Man Up West Power Lunch. It's back. And it will be at noon at St. Francis. So uh, actually, I think the person speaking may be my husband tomorrow. You guys, oh, really? What's yeah, he speaking I think on? He's going to speak about what's the latest with the veil removed, actually. So um, the men are asking huh? the men about uh, the veil removed. So oh, we're excited. That people is, that are the learning. First, is that the first time he's talked to uh, I know. He's, he's done some other speaking yeah. about it. But oh, yeah, this that. is the first time he's talked to at the Man Up Power West. Or, you, Man Up West Power Lunch. You yes. two are a team, Chris. I, I guess. Yeah. I guess. God is good. God is good. And then Iowa Catholic Radio is joining EWTN programming nightly at 8 p.m., except when we are carrying dialing games. So when there are no games, we will have EWTN Rosary on at 8.30, right? And it's it's always, of course, prayed at 5.30 and 9.30 as well. But I wanted you guys to know that that's going to be on at night now, too. And we are giving away two free tickets to the Lori Morgan concert yes. that's coming up real soon on uh, Thursday, July 15th at the Horizon Event Center. And what you need to do is text 515-223-1150, 515-223-1150, text, and you'll be put in for a chance to win free tickets to the Lori Amen. Morgan concert. Yay, that sounds fun. Oh, goodness. Yeah. And then uh, Iowa Catholic Radio welcomes Casting Crowns and Jordan Felice to the Iowa State Fair Grandstand, August 12th at 8 p.m. You can learn more about that at the Iowa State Fair, iowastatefair.org. Also, Iowa Catholic Radio welcomes We the Kingdom to the Iowa State Fair on the Ann and Bill Riley stage. And I think that's a free stage, right? Yes, that, it is. That is August 22nd at 8 p.m. So and the Iowa, of- Iowa Catholic Radio booth is right across from that. So mm-hmm. stop by and see us at the mm-hmm. State Fair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are we going to have the wheel to spin and uh, I don't th- kids, I, kids win no, candy no, this year? No, no. we haven't oh. done that for a couple of years. Oh, so, that's yeah. too bad. <laughs> you like that? It's huh? always fun having those kids come by and spin the wheel and get some fun candy. <laughs> Maybe we should bring that back. <laughs> well, thank you to Cindy Schulte of Farm Bureau Financial Services for underwriting Catholic Women Now. Cindy is an authorized independent agent. She and her team provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. She is here to help you with... Um, insurance and making things a little bit more simple for you. You can find her at cindyschulte.com or 515-226-2111. This is Catholic Woman Now on Iowa Catholic Radio. We're going to sh- take a short break. And when we come back, we welcome in our guest, Melanie Rigney, talking about menopause moments. 
Thank you, Dental Associates, for underwriting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. With over 40 years' experience, Dental Associates is a group dental practice with the mission of promoting optimum health and well-being to all patients, providing preventative, restorative, and cosmetic dentistry for the entire family. Message underwritten by Dr. Kenton Gleichman, Dr. Steve Carbaca, and Dr. Ben Nagel. Dental Associates, addressing your smile, needs, and dreams. Online at Des Moines-DentalAssociates.com. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio provided by Five Sons Naturescapes. Five Sons Naturescapes is looking for an experienced landscaping foreman with a clean driving record. Five Sons Naturescapes is a Catholic veteran-owned family company providing premium outdoor landscaping. Clean up and restore outdoor living spaces with retaining walls, privacy fences, pergolas, paver sidewalks, and patios. Five Sons Naturescapes can grade and install drainage tile to help with soil settling and water around the foundation and yard. Learn more at fivesonsnaturescapes.com. And thank you to Five Sons Naturescapes for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Thank you, Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, for underwriting Catholic Women Now. As an authorized independent agent, Cindy's team can provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. Cindy Schulte at 1315 50th Street in West Des Moines or on the web at cindyschulte.com. 515-226-2111. Cindy and her team know health insurance. Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa is an independent licensee of the Blue Cross Blue Shield Association. Products available at Farm Bureau Financial Services. What is the best gift ever? Giving a Catholic education is at the top of my list. Your contribution to CTO helps families send their children to our Catholic schools who otherwise could not afford it. In giving to CTO, you receive the best tax credits ever. Pledge or donate online at ctoiowa.org. The bottom line, it's for the kids and their future. Welcome back to Catholic Women Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio, and we're welcoming in today our guest, Melanie Rigney. She is the author of several books, including Woman of Worth, and has written for Living Faith, CatholicMom.com, Women in the New Evangelization, Catholic Update, Vera Mercy, and other publications. She lives in Arlington, Virginia, and she's here today to talk about her latest book. It's actually a journal called Menopause Moments. Yes, we have a show for our target (laughs) audience today. So welcome in, Melanie, to Catholic Women Now, and thank you for joining us this morning. Well, thank you so much for having me, Julian Chris. Just one thing I should have told you that just might be of interest to your listeners. Um, I grew up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and my niece actually just moved to Des Moines. She graduated from Iowa State this spring. Go Cyclones. Yay. We're Cyclone fans. (laughs) We are. We are. You're in good company. (laughs) Okay. Yay, very yeah, good. Well, does she, she'll have to have her listen to Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Woman Now today with you being on. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> we do podcasts. It's on the app. So, she Well, catches. Melanie, we're not going to ask your age, but we are going to ask you what led you to write your book on menopause. <laughs> um, that's kind of a fun story because um, I, I do quite a bit of work for Bayard uh, with Living Faith and such, and they have a lovely, lovely pregnancy uh, journal called Wonderfully Made, and um, I've kind of been involved with some activities. I, I own a conference for Catholic women over 40, so they came to me and asked me to write it, and I said, sure, and then I, I kind of stopped and went, wow, so menopause, what can you possibly say that's positive <laughs> about menopause? <laughs> so it was um, it was a great opportunity for me, for formation for me and I um, I hope what I learned through through the writing will be helpful to the women who read it and who uh, you know choose to kind of delve into scripture and what it means to us at this stage of our lives and how to embrace it well you know the book is easy actually to read I think because you know you give a little bit of you give a little scripture you, you have a little reflection on it then you ask for an action and then you get us involved, which helps, you know, somebody like me to commit to what I just read. Okay, oh, here's something that I can do when this or that happens in my menopause journey kind of thing. So I, I like that because it, it, whenever I have to put something down on paper, it cements, it usually cements the action, the follow-up for me. So I like that. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. And the good thing is it won't cost you a cent. might cost you a little pride or a little thought, but it won't cost you a penny to do any of those items. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, I... Um, want to take a couple a couple of these uh, 
reflections and these thoughts in here just really kind of struck a chord with me. And I think this is the one that I really struggled with the most. It caught me off guard. I, um, during well, as I approach menopause and empty nesting and everything that kind of all goes together, is your one on unfinished business mm. where the sense of loss comes in mm-hmm. in this time of life. Like, oh, you look back, you, and, and, and you know, when your kids leave home and when it's just you, I started reflecting back more and like, oh, I didn't mm-hmm. did this. Is this where I wanted to be at this time in my life? And feeling a sadness and a grief and mourning. Um, so. Can, have you experienced that, or some of you know experienced that? And uh, what prompted you to put that in this book, in this journal? Well, kind of two quick answers. One, um, I, I live with one of, with my my sister, who's not the mother of uh, the one, the Iowa State grad. And right before her fiftieth birthday, she actually started crying. And, and she's not that emotional a woman. She's a social worker by training, and she said that she would never learn to play the piano. And, you know, trying to be a fixer, I'm the older sister. <laughs> I was like, oh, sure, you can go to the wine. She said, no, but I'll never learn to play it well. Now, this is a woman who, you know, over her 25-year career has helped innumerous, innumerable people with mental illness, with lung cancer, and yet she's thinking of the downside. And I think we all do that because our, our inner critics kind of turn on it also struck me because in my Bible study group, um, Lot's wife came up. And, you know, that was what Lot's wife did. She turned back. Mm. Oh, yeah, and then look what happened to her. Exactly. <laughs> and the people, the people who, you know, Lot and the rest of the party who kept their eyes forward, which is where the Lord wanted them, survived. Mm. Mm. That's a that's an important thing. That that yeah. yeah, that's that's a reflection right there to kind of ponder for a while and wrap your mind around it. Yeah, I mean there there we have no indication in the Bible that she was an awful wife or an awful mother or an awful woman, but she had to look back, you know. Mm-hmm. And and I I think there's there's some evil when we dwell too much in the past. It's it's a way for evil to make entry into our souls. So mm. um we can we can perhaps mourn the unfinished business a little bit. It's like, darn it, sure would have been nice if I would have gotten to Paris or I would have gotten that advanced degree or if I'd had another child. And those are all emotions to be aware of. But ultimately, God will celebrate you and God will love you and God will ensure that you are exactly where he needs you to be regardless of how many twists and turns you took off the path. And I think, you know, like you said, when you look forward, then you start opening, your, your eyes are open to see what he has for you on that path as well. Mm-hmm. So yep. what what have been some of your difficult moments with menopause that uh, you you reflect on that uh, where you've had to kind of meet with the Lord and see how to work through it? Um, one that's going to sound really silly, and I think that's just it. Some, so many of these sound silly when we give voice to them, but that's why it's important to give voice to them. Yes. I've, I was six feet tall by the time I was 14 years old, and I hated it. I hated being six feet tall. You, you know, mm. yeah, I, I just always have hated it. And last time I had a bone density scan, first of all, it came back normal instead of superior, and, and that kind of hurt my ego a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I'm not six feet tall anymore. I'm five foot 11 and a half. Wow. Now, again, that sounds silly, but even though I never really liked being tall, it's like, okay, well, I, I struggled for a couple of weeks with who am I then? And I, I think we can do the same thing with, um, you know, taking out the summer clothes and your linen dress doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> That's another one I had. I have a linen dress that I love to death. That mm. I've gotten a lot of compliments over the years. I've held on to it forever. And there came one day that I took it out of, out of you know, storage, and it doesn't fit anymore. We, we get a little thicker. Yeah. I, uh-huh. remember, I remember when my mom started telling me that she noticed she was getting thicker and she wasn't eating any differently, but that, you know, her mm-hmm. arms were getting thicker and some... And I thought, nobody else noticed it. But we do notice yeah, it. You know, right. we get yep. sensitive because yeah. we still want to, even though we're not trying to attract men anymore, we're, right. we're, we, yeah. we, 
we still want to be beautiful for our husbands. You well, know? and right. I just think it's, you know, the body image thing is a struggle throughout all our lives. Yes. You know, you know, you're in high mm-hmm. school and it's, it's all the peer pressure and then college and then you have babies and then, I mean, you love your <laughs> yep. baby and everything, but then there's that struggle too with the change in your body. And mm-hmm. now, and I kind of thought that, that you have a little bit, you talk about that in one of your reflections here. And I remember thinking, I, th- oh, I, I've conquered that. I've conquered that. And then I went through menopause and I'm like, I guess I haven't conquered this because I am, I am like, oh gosh, I am like talking about my weight all the time to the point where my daughter said, mom, stop it. Uh-huh. I'm like, oh, then yeah. I like, what am I doing for her? You yeah. know, I and it's not careful. that we can't do anything about it. You know, I, I have, um, yeah. I, there was there a, a few years ago, I was saying something about the, the same thing to my kids. Oh, look at this. I've got some ripples where I didn't yeah. have them before kind of thing. And, and yep. two of my kids said, well, are you going to do anything about it? You know, I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, out of the mouths of babes, right? right? So I thought, I, I guess that, you know, I'm, I'm, it's not like I'm past that, you know what yeah. I mean? So just recently, it took me two years, I started to try to do something about it. You know, it does, you, we can still, we're still alive, right? We're still alive and well, kicking. And, and, and Melanie, I really love the scripture verse you picked out for this because I think I'm going to read it here on air because women, you got to get this book. It's good. Mm -hmm. Um, It's from wisdom. And for she is a reflection of eternal light, a spotless mirror, the working of God and an image of his goodness. And that is so beautiful that you bring out in this and remind us of, you know, the true goodness is within. Yeah. I mean, God is crazy good, right? Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, our, our, our bodies are, are a temple. Our bodies are a vessel for him to work through. But at the end of the day, we're not going to get into heaven based on whether we weighed 100 pounds or 120. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. right. Right? Or that we moved from a size 8 to a size 12. Mm-hmm. Right. That's mm-hmm. not what it's about. But so, too often society tells us, and we're all human. We all can fall into that. It's just kind of picking ourselves up and, and remembering why we're here. Mm-hmm. Well, and this, that's, that was the thing, too, that struck me is that, you know, God created us, and He created us with menopause, and He, mm-hmm. he created, mm-hmm. you know, and so why not? And rather than see it negative, let's see the purpose that God has for this, and how we can serve God through this time in our life. And you've done that really well with the reflections, and the thoughts, and the f- humor, the humor you thread through this. Yeah, we matter of <laughs> fact, you know what? It's time to take a hard break, and when we do, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about the joys of this stage, yes. the yes. purpose. Yes, yes. You're listening to Iowa Catholic Radio, and this is Catholic Women Now. We'll be back in a moment. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio provided by Five Sons Naturescapes. Five Sons Naturescapes is looking for an experienced landscaping foreman with a clean driving record. Five Sons Naturescapes is a Catholic veteran-owned family company providing premium outdoor landscaping. Clean up and restore outdoor living spaces with retaining walls, privacy fences, pergolas, paver sidewalks, and patios. Five Sons Naturescapes can grade and install drainage tile to help with soil settling and water around the foundation and yard. Learn more at fivesonsnaturescapes.com. And thank you to Five Sons Naturescapes for their support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio is provided by CTO. What great news for donors to the Catholic Tuition Organization. You now receive 75%. Yes, 75% of your donation back in Iowa tax credits beginning January 1st of this year. Your support has helped thousands of students attend our Catholic schools. Best gift ever. Online. CTOiowa.org. At CTO, the bottom line, it's for the kids and their future. Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now provided in part by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security is a Catholic-owned family business supplying security systems, access control systems, video surveillance, fire alarm systems, and video doorbells. All alarm systems are monitored out of their monitoring center located in the state of Iowa. Permar Security, 515-244-5660, permarsecurity.com. Thank you, Skeffington's Formal Wear, for sponsoring Dowling Catholic High School football. In business since 1951, Skeffington's Formal Wear offers quality service, style, and selection, providing tuxedos, suits, and casual groom attire for weddings, proms, and any other special occasion. Skeffington's Formal Wear, with convenient locations in Des Moines, West Des Moines, Davenport, Coralville, and Ankeny. All locations are family-owned and operated by members in their respective communities, fitting you for life celebrations. Online at skeffingtons.com. Well, welcome back to Catholic Women. Now here on Iowa Catholic Radio, we're having 
having a delightful conversation with Melanie Rigney, author of the book. Uh, actually, it's a journal called Menopause Moments. I know a lot of ears just perked up when I said menopause. <laughs> <laughs> And we didn't say men. Pause. Yeah. <laughs> you can keep listening, men. <laughs> um, but uh, w- uh, this journal is very delightful, and I-, I encourage you all to get it because there's just so many things you bring into it, practical and poignant and humorous. And um, when, at the end of the last segment, we were just talking about the joys of menopause and that, you know, God created us with menop- to have menopause in our lives, so why not put it to his purpose in some way? So, Melanie, let's talk a little bit about what are the joys that can come from this season of life, because every season has joys. I think first and foremost, the word that we use in English, menopause, pause. Mm -hmm. This is such a great time to stop and take some spiritual spiritual stock in ourselves. Um, Generally, by the time you're in your late 40s, your, your, your kids, if not, if not in college or high school, they're they're pretty much they, they've you've done you've done your best work with them, your most critical work. You will continue to guide them through the rest of your life, but but they're almost launched and well done. Um, if you if you work outside the home, by the time you're in your mid to late forties, you've probably got a pretty good idea of where you're going. Uh, you know whether you're going to move into management, whether, whatever's going to happen. So a lot of the things that we strive for and we we work so hard for in our twenties and thirties. When we reach our, you know, mid to late 40s, it's kind of, okay, this, this is that path. So take a breath. It's a great time to think about maybe now I do have time to do that Bible study at church. Well, and we've gained so much wisdom. By yes. the, well, yeah. hopefully we have. And I know one of the verses that you pulled in your Bible, in your, excuse me, in your book was Psalm 90, 12, which says, teach us to count our days that we may gain a wise heart. And, mm-hmm. you know, by then, hopefully we have gained a wise heart. Some, some wisdom, <laughs> some wisdom. And if we haven't, it's there for the asking, ah, right? Yes. 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 Now's yes. the time. Yes. You're right. We have time. You know, there's, yeah. th- this is a part of the, the journey I went through is um, part of that unfinished business is like, okay, now, Lord, where do you want me? Because I didn't feel like I fit in with young people. I didn't, you know, I didn't want to, <laughs> I wasn't sure where mm-hmm. I fit in, actually. And it was Titus chapter 2, verse 5 has become my little mantra. The older women shall help the younger women and not to teach them mm-hmm. to make bread, but to love their husbands and things like that. And, and that's that wisdom. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. that wisdom that we have collectively as, as, as in, our, in our age group here that we can share. Yeah, the joy of sharing. Now, there's probably even some women out there who are going, you know, but I, I still want to be able to, you know, enjoy some of the things that are before menopause. And there, the the blessing of living in this time is that we still we there are things that we can do about that. Praise the Lord! Right. You know, mm-hmm. there there are little things Amen. like we can color our hair. <laughs> we can color <laughs> our hair. You know, I always thought I was going to be a fashion designer, and it, of course that didn't pair out, but a uh, pan out. But you know, I realized. I have time to sew now, and I can design my own things. Mm. Just kind of, and so, so there's that sense of you can create, you can find those little moments. Mm -hmm. It's not Mm -hmm. like maybe what your dream was, but there's still that opportunity Mm -hmm. to do those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For me, it was genealogy. I I was very, very. My mother died when I was 33 years old, and I, I had so much fun doing genealogy for about four or five years, and then life intervened. And in the last year or two. That's something I've gotten back to, and I enjoy it, and it, you know, connects me with my family. I'm kind of sort of the matriarch of, <laughs> of our vast 34 cousins at this point. But again, there, was, there were a number of years there that it wasn't a priority, and I think it was right not to be a priority, but it's beautiful to be back with it. Mm. Well, mm-hmm. we just have a minute and a half here, Melanie, to wrap up. So would you just give us, what is the takeaway you'd like women to know from this? Don't be Lot's wife. <laughs> Don't turn back. Don't look back. Yeah. yeah. Be present where you are. Um, have confidence in the Lord in the future and know that this is not a time to struggle, you know, to get through. This is a time to celebrate and enjoy and spend with the Lord. Um, the scripture that really spoke to me while I was writing this book was, was Galatians 4.10. You are observing special days and months and seasons and years 
remember that today, remember that tomorrow, and remember it the next day. Don't look at them as something to get through because they're a gift from God. Mm. Amen. Amen. Read, read that. Read Galatians 4.10 one more time. Sure. Um, just a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, just, now I got just, it. I thought you had it, so sorry. <laughs> no, I do. You are observing special days and months and seasons and years. Mm. Amen. And they I are just, special. They are special. Yes. Yep. Yep. Very fun. Very fun. Well, Melanie, it was great to have you with us. We have the, her, um, If you want to get her book, you can get it at what? MelanieRigney.com. Is that your website? Yeah, there's information there. Yeah. You can you can order it any place, you know, your favorite bricks and mortar, your favorite Catholic bookstore, yeah. your favorite mm-hmm. online bookstore. But yeah, there's plenty of information there. Give it and away as a so gift. Much. Give it away as a yes, gift, too. Yes, would be it's, great. Uh-huh. Oh, it would great. be a great yeah, gift. Great 60th mm-hmm. birthday party gift. There you 50th go. 50th party, party <laughs> gift, right? <laughs> <laughs> Embrace this time of life. That's right. All right. Well, Melanie, it was delightful to have you with us, and thank you again. Thank you so much. God bless, ladies. God thank bless you. you, Melanie. Bye-bye. Oh, that was fun. She's that was fun. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Support for Iowa Catholic Radio and Catholic Women Now provided in part by Permar Security, a Catholic owned, Catholic owned family business providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953. Permar Security, 515 244 5660, online at permarsecurity.com. So we have a closing close with a prayer. prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. <sighs> Oh, good Lord, we thank you so much for our lives, for each stage of our life. We thank you, Lord, the way that you walk with us in each stage. We thank you, Lord, that even in menopause moments that we can see you, we can come to know you better, and we can come to enjoy you. And we thank you, Lord, that um, you you prepare us to not want to stay. I mean, (laughs) one of the blessings of it, I suppose, as well. But I pray, Lord, that you help us as we are in each stage to live life, to love others, and most importantly, to love you. We ask this all in your Holy Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is Catholic Women Now broadcasting from the Mercy One studio. Don't forget to we're to have a giveaway of two VIP tickets to the Lori Morgan concert coming up July 15th. You can text 515-223-1150. Text the word Lori to get your name in for the drawing. Yes. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is prayed at 5.30 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. and is up next. So stay tuned. And we ask you to please consider supporting Iowa Catholic Radio by talking to your employer about an employer match. Matching gifts are many times available with a lot of organizations. So thank you for listening to Iowa Catholic Radio as we continue to teach, evangelize, and defend our Catholic faith. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris Magruder on the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. Iowa Catholic Radio. Catholic Women Now is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com. Catholic Women Now is also underwritten by Permar Security, providing security solutions for homes and businesses since 1953.